these are some of my hops I spread them out on a table underneath a ceiling fan so there's a breeze blowing on them this is a bag of holler tower they're the first ones to be picked I just have one vine it doesn't produce a lot but they're really really nice hops then the nuggets ripen and these are all nuggets I picked them actually a couple days ago they're they're about halfway dry now I just let them sit here under the breeze till they dry out and then I'll stuff them into mason jars as tight as I can get them and put them in the freezer. This is what a jar of hops looks like after it's been in the freezer. I stuff them in as tightly as I can, keep as much oxygen out as possible, and then I just freeze them. They're good for well depend on the varieties or cascades from last year and I just used some of them in my beer and they were good so I would say they're all good for at least a year the nuggets store even better I just have uh, maybe half a dozen jars like this in my freezer and that's enough for all the beer that I make in a year the nugget hops are dry I'm going to stuff them into this jar as tight as I can get them, label it, and put it in the freezer. I have the jar packed. I label it with the name of the hop and the year. I'll put this in the freezer and try to use it within a year's time. I have some sunflowers growing around my hop pole it's a 19 foot square aluminum tube I worked at the factory that made that it had a slight dimensional problem so it was scrapped I bought it for scrap hauled it home stuck it in the ground and ran cables down all around it I planted hops all around it all different varieties the only thing that really grew was the cascade that's the tall one there and the holler tower the one to the left unfortunately they're right beside each other so they're getting growing into each other I've been trying to repropagate the holler tower I've already got another cascade vine I'll go over a little closer and uh, take a look. I do have this one small Tettnanger vine from Germany. I got a few hops off of it one year, but most years it just grows up to this stage and then just dies back. It made some really good beer. I wish it would produce. This is my Cascade vine. It hasn't been picked yet. It comes a little later than my nuggets. It's really enjoyed growing on the fence. It's one thing I found from growing hops. They like a lot of different contact points to hold their vines with. And as much as they'll grow on a, a pole or a string like this, they really grow great on a fence. These are rather small yet. And then over here is my holler tower vine. I love the hops that come off of this. It doesn't produce a lot, but boy, are they good. There's still some small ones. I've already picked it. I keep these uh, sunflowers planted all around my pole just to help decorate it and of course I have some intrusive morning glories one of my biggest weed problem for all my vining plants this is my original nugget vine I've 
I've already picked it. There's not much left on it. It's growing out here on the fence, which it really likes. But uh, the problem with that is that it's out here in full sun and it just doesn't seem to love the full sun that much. It grows great and it gets hot here in the summer. But it does produce some. This is my other nugget vine. I started this from a rhizome that I dug up the root off that other vine and I planted it over here. And it's doing much better than the original one because it gets some shade in the morning. It doesn't get full sun all day. It stays a little cooler. And it's, uh, this one's only a couple years old. It's really grown. It's time to pick the Cascade hops. I wanted to get them a few days ago. The weather has not cooperated. It's been raining. I like to pick them when they're fairly dry. They're just about at the optimal point. And you start getting small little brown spots on the bracts. Like that. Even like that. Some of them are getting a little too far along. Like this one here. I wouldn't pick that. It's just a little too brown. A little brown's good. A lot of brown, not so good. These are about what I would say as far as uh, color and brown spots pretty close to perfect some of them are a little greener this one's greener but it's still good it still has some lupulin inside some nice yellow lupulin that's the good stuff I'm gonna pick some of these put them in a bag and I'm going to lay them outside. I leave them lay out on my deck overnight so any little bugs can crawl out of them. Give the bugs a chance to escape. And then tomorrow I'll take them inside, lay them under the ceiling fan, and dry them out. This is what I picked off the fence vines. And I've come out here to the uh, garden and I'm going to pick some off of this vine here. It looks like it's ready to be picked. Let's see what I can get off of it. I also have some over here on the fence to get. I'm not going to try to get every hop. Just a nice batch of good ones. It's easy for me to pick more hops than what I can use. So I just pick out the best ones and uh, dry them and freeze them. Put them in my beer. It's daytime, the hops sat overnight outside here on the table, on the deck. That gave uh, the little bugs, spiders, some time to get out. There's usually not very many bugs in hops, but I would just as soon let them crawl out if they're so inclined. Now I need to get them inside, spread them out on something underneath the fan and uh, get them dried as quickly as possible. The cascades are under the ceiling fan, drying. They should be dry 
depending how wet they are, around two days and then they'll be ready to be packed and frozen. The Cascade hops are dry, ready to be packed into jars and frozen. It took about a day and a half, roughly. You can tell they're dry because they're crunchy sounding and they're not cold. If you grab them, and they feel cold when there's still moisture inside that is evaporating. These are nice and dry. And since hops don't store very long at uh, room temperature, I need to get these packed into jars. See a little bit of lupulin in there. I guess I better get started filling my jars. These mason jars or any kind of glass jar, you just want to make sure it has a good seal. I better get started. I was able to get all the hops in two jars packed tightly. You want to displace as much air as possible. And then write on them the variety and the date, the year. So I know to use these up by fall of next year. Now I just put them in the freezer. I have a refrigerator dedicated to beer. I have a couple kegs in there. And the freezer is full of mugs and hops, which is where I'm going to place these until I need them. Here's where the hops go to be stored. I pack them in them jars as tight as I can and freeze them and keep them with my frozen mugs. In conclusion, I'd like to say that hops are easy to grow. All you need is a piece of root called a rhizome and you plant it early in the spring it's a perennial plant it keeps coming up every year and spreading this entire vine came from just one single rhizome and i have far more hops than i need my hops don't even get that large here it gets rather hot in the summer and hops don't like it too hot I have a friend that lives up the road in the mountains and his hops grow much better than mine. <clears throat> but I still have plenty. All I need. The uh, varieties like Nugget and Cascade are two of the hardiest. You can make a lot of different beers with them. Well, thanks for watching. That's about all I have for now.